Hi, it's Lynn from Sweet Natured, and if you love a beverage package, today we are looking at Virgin Voyages Bar Tab and how it stacks up. <laughs> Unlike other cruise lines, Virgin Voyages does not offer a traditional beverage package. Instead, it gives sailors the ability to budget for alcoholic and speciality drinks by way of a bar tab. As a result, you can credit your dedicated bar tab prior to or during your voyage. Now, in order to ascertain how much you need to add to your bar tab, really depends on how much you like to drink. For example, if you're partial to a speciality coffee in the morning and a pre-dinner cocktail in the evening, You'll probably be needing around $95 per person for a five night voyage. Let's have a drink on that. Plus Virgin Voyages are likely to add to any amount you're given as part of a booking promotion, which is great. Now I must admit, we are a fan of the beverage package, mainly because it lets us budget and know we're sorted for our holiday. But peace of mind can bring complications as it does not let you do anything fancy especially if you want to order two drinks as only as you need both sea passes or medallions at the time you order a drink this is on the beverage package and you can't even order two drinks for yourself at the same time again on the beverage package and if you commit the cardinal sin of ordering a round of drinks for a group of people and even if all those people are on their own beverage package I think we know where we're going here. The only drink which is going to be covered by the beverage package is your drink. Meaning the next time you check out your bill, you're in for a nasty shock. And it can be a very nasty shock if it's way into the night. At least with the bar tab, you know that shock is coming. Now, not every sailor on board Scarlet Lady that we spoke to was impressed with the cost of the drinks. However, I will say this for Virgin Voyages, they do not skimp on the measures. We saw bartenders free pouring spirits and just one pina colada on Scarlet Lady gave us a fuzzy buzz. Unlike other cruise lines where we've knocked back three by the pool and have only been slightly squiffy. Virgin Voyages does not mess around with their cocktails. And if you consider they are sort of New York, London, like city prices, the two of us did find them to be quite strong and we didn't drink as much. That being said, we did order the Shocktopus in the Loose Cannon and after we had that, we, we didn't order another drink for another 24 hours. So, it, as I say, the measures are... They, the, what are measures on Virgin Voyages. On previous cruises with Royal Caribbean and Princess, we've organised a beverage package. And as I say, not because we're heavy drinkers, but because we'd just rather go and feel vacationary when we're on holiday. We And don't have to worry about a massive bill at the end because that can put a dampener on, on, on your holiday thinking, how much is this going, how much is going to cost? Also, you, you can also go a little bit a little bit free and easy on holiday. Mimosas for breakfast, pina coladas, liquid lunch, no problem. Afternoon nap night cap, they're my favourite. You know, you can have a large one. Whichever beverage package we're on, we, we seem to always, you know, do well out of it. Even if it's like speciality coffees and teas, freshly pressed juices, they're on there. European sparkling waters, the likes of your Evian, San Pellegrino, they're all covered. Which means it can soon add up and you feel that you are getting your money's worth with a beverage package. Because even the soft, fancy drinks can be quite pricey. Let me just have another drink. The good news is Virgin Voyages Bar Tab also removes any final bill fear factor. And for whatever reason, we didn't seem to go mad apart from the fateful day we encountered the Shocktopus, but it probably didn't help that we'd taken the shot for shot cocktail making photography class earlier that morning. The bad news and things that we, we didn't do that we normally do when we're on the beverage package is that we didn't really drink outside our cocktail comfort box. 
and try new things that we'd never tried before which usually we like to experiment and with all sorts of varying levels of success because sometimes this experimentation can lead to discovering a super new favorite cocktail and other times we can receive something like a day glow concoction that makes us wince or my mascara run so the killer question is is the virgin voyages bar tab worth it now we did love the drinks on board scarlet lady they were really good high quality you felt you were getting your money's worth that way but it would have been lovely if they offered some sort of beverage package in their virgin voyages way whether it be a celebration package or a lover's package or just something so that you felt that you could try and experiment a little bit especially when you consider Dr Alex's Never Sleep Alone seminar because experimentation and tasting new things is apparently what vacations are for. So with that have a lovely day thanks for watching and feel free to like subscribe you know the stuff and cheers!